It is a beautiful Saturday morning and I just got off work and I really wanted to give you guys an update. It's been a while since I gave um, an update on any kind of a project that I'm doing when it comes to um, being an American uh, national and some of the work and ideas and stuff that have been going through my head. I haven't been able to really put any, any videos out for a while. but. I apologize and I do have a list of videos that I hopefully will be putting out here soon. But so today I was looking through my email and I'm a part of some groups and I get emails every time somebody posts um, on a thread or whatever and I was going through the emails and this one, this one guy, he said that we should all be writing letters to, to like the Donald Trump, uh, our governors, our congressmen, our share, you know, anybody who would be sort of in the chain of command, okay? And just ask, you know, a few questions and uh, make it brief and see if they respond. So here's what I did. I made a list of 10 people and uh, I live in Pendleton, Oregon. So I wrote a letter to the mayor, the chief of police here in Pendleton, the Umatillan, excuse me, Umatilla County Sheriff, the commissioner board chair, um, the Oregon governor, two senators, um, the district representative, the Oregon State Police, and that's actually the, uh, not the steward, the, the Oregon State Police Superintendent. Anyways, I'm not sure exactly what he does. I couldn't find anybody like a chief of police or anybody. So superintendent, we'll have to work for that one. And I wrote a letter to Donald Trump. Um, I, will, I will take some pictures of this and post it in the video if anybody wants... Or maybe I'll do that and then I'll also type it up and put it in the description if anybody wants to do this. I think it might be a really good idea for for anybody watching this to one, share the video so that like-minded people can, we can all get on board with the same thing. And uh, go ahead and share the video and also maybe write your own letter. I have it handwritten as you'll see when I take the picture of it. And uh, just very simple. I, I wrote, dear, well, this one's to John, and John is, I just used their first name. I didn't use their title because I'm not writing to the, the um, I'm not writing to the, to the office. I'm writing to the, to the man or to the woman. Uh, John, oh, John is the mayor of Pendleton. So the first letter is on the top of the list is to John. Okay. Dear John. I'm writing you to hopefully get some clarity on a topic that has had my attention for the last few years. I get very different information on this, uh, on this subject depending on who I ask and where I look. The focus of this letter will be on the driver license and some related topics. To spare my pen and your eyes, I will, I will not go into a review of my studies, but rather I will just ask a few questions and respectfully request a reply. Question number one. Is it true that the following legal terms only apply to commerce and or the government and not to men and women living in the private? First term is traffic, then operator, driver, vehicle, motor vehicle, and that's all I could think of off the top of my head for terms relating to driving. Second question. Is it the case that the right to travel freely in the public, unmolested, is one of the inalienable rights protected in the Constitution? Question number three. Can a right be converted into a privilege without consent? Finally, question number four. 
Is it true that the government issued that government issued identification is only required for those operating in the government? Thank you for your time. This is I close the letter. Thank you for your time. I look forward to your response. Sincerely, I give my name, David Merle. And then underneath of it, I write, a man free on the land. So, very simple. It took two pages to write because I was handwriting it out. And um, generally generally speaking, um, when I write in, in uh, cursive, it just takes up more space. And um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm sending them off in these envelopes I have prepared. I've done videos on this before. I'm going to send these off with three cents and it'll get there just fine. And I'm also going to do, let's see if I can find it real quick. Where is that? I'm back online here. So I grabbed, I did a video on this too, but it's always good to review. So I grabbed these certified mail receipts from the post office. I just grabbed a whole bunch, a handful. I have a stash here and I have another stash somewhere else. And so I'll be attaching these as well on the letter and I can track it and it'll tell me when it gets there, which is good for my, good for my records. And so what I do is you attach this part to the envelope, but this part says for official use. Well, I'm using it officially. <laughs> so I'm going to use this part right in that blank spot right here. You probably can't see it because it's washed out from the light. I just write a little note about, um, so what, where it went. So for these, I'll just write who it went to and then I'll keep them in a stack so I know I can check back, see who got theirs, when they got theirs, and then I can do a follow-up letter. So what I'm gonna do is send these off. I don't know. I think I might just do it once a month to the same people and uh, do it two, three, four, or five months and see if I get any responses. If I get a response, believe me, I will be sharing that with you guys. If I don't get any response, that's okay. I'm not really expecting get, to get a response. But what I'm gonna do is because these questions were not answered, it actually doesn't matter if they answer them or not, even though it would be amazing if I got a response positively to you know, a truthful answer, and a truthful answer would be positive. But whether or not I get a response, in a handful of months, I'm going to send out a letter to the same people declaring to them that I will be traveling, not driving. I'm going, going to declare that I won't be using insurance, um, a plate, uh, registration, a driver's license, and I'll just be traveling freely on the public highways and byways and roads and whatever. Um, now, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do that. I probably won't do that. But there's nothing wrong with giving them notice that it's within my rights to do that. Now, I want to do that for two reasons. One, if I'm going to do that, I should let them know so that they are fully aware that I am who I am and I am doing this and there's no surprises. But the second reason why I'm doing that is because I would love for them to respond to that. I would love for them to have a response and that I could uh, review the response. Anyway, so that's my project. I'm going to fold these up, put them in the envelopes, put this, put this on the envelope and mail them off today and see if I get a response and I will let you guys know.